Have you ever looked up at the sky and wondered what's going on up there? Up there, up through the clouds. Have you ever wondered what the moon is made of? Why the stars twinkle? What it feels like to be an astronaut living in space? Harry and Halley have lots of questions about the night sky, and this is their Hunting the Northern Lights story. It happens in Lapland, which is in a country called Finland. School friends Harry and Halley have come to this beautiful northern land at the top of the world for a very special adventure. They've travelled with their dads all the way from Scotland to hunt for the Northern Lights. Halley, what's the other name for the Northern Lights? The Aurora Borealis. That's right. <laughs> Can you see it? Aurora Borealis. That's it. What is the Aurora Borealis? Do you know? Yeah, it's just like a big light with all different colours inside it. Harry is right. The Northern Lights are a magical display of colours that light up the sky at night. To see them, it has to be very dark. If it's too cloudy, you won't see them at all. But one place you can always see the Northern Lights from is space. Wow! The best place on Earth to see them from is the cold and frosty north, where Harry, Halley and these husky dogs are now. But it's not dark enough yet to go aurora hunting. Do you think we should have a shot on the huskies? Yeah! Right where we're waiting? Yeah. That would be really good, wouldn't it? <laughs> Here in Lapland, people sometimes travel on special sledges pulled through the snow and ice by strong husky dogs. What an exciting way to travel. That was awesome! Well, you want to go and get, so, get next to the fan, get some lunch, get warm yeah. up? Come on, let's do it. Come on. <laughs> Yay, let's go. It might be only lunchtime, but it's about to get dark in Lapland. In winter, the sun starts to set here just after midday. This is because Lapland is in the far north, where, in the winter months, the sun shines on this part of the world for a very short while each day. It's looking a bit cloudy. Will they see the northern lights tonight? Harry and Halley don't have to wait too much longer to find out. It's night time at last. Halley and Harry are all wrapped up, ready to start their aurora hunt. They travel to meet Andy. He has one of the best jobs in the world. He's an aurora hunter. Would you like to follow me and I'll show you a great place to see some auroras? Andy is taking Harry and Halley to a traditional Finnish tent, or Lavu, which is a great place to wait to see if you can spot auroras. Well, we're probably not going to see the auroras tonight because we've got a lot of cloud, unfortunately, but hopefully we'll see it another night. What a shame. No auroras tonight. It's time to get warm inside the Lavu instead. Can you tell me what you already know about the Northern Lights? They've got lots of colours. Well done. But do you know where they come from, the Aurora Borealis, where it starts? Try and think of somewhere a long, long way away from here, up in space, where you think the Aurora might start from. I'll give you the a clue. Sun. Yes, it's the sun. So basically, the sun makes something called a solar wind. And the solar wind travels towards the Earth. And when it reaches the Earth and the North Pole, it makes a very, very special light called the Northern Lights the aurora borealis and sometimes it can be still and sometimes it can be very excited and be dashing across the sky hopefully harry and halley will be lucky enough to see it tomorrow the second night of their aurora hunt are you ready to go aurora hunting yeah, yeah. yeah. we've got a reasonable solar wind great, great. and we've also got some holes in the cloud well, yeah. should fingers we go crossed. fingers yeah. crossed yeah. fingers crossed yeah. come on let's go you the skies up above me Don't close your eyes Don't Would you like to come and see the Aurora Borealis? This 
is the moment they've all been waiting for. You can see a very, it's very faint light, light it's just, of the it's hill just there. Yeah, yeah, I can see, yeah. see aurora developing. Look, an aurora. Yeah. Can you see green, Harry? It's yeah, I can see it. It's getting a little bit stronger. It's quite a wee bit lighter from the shade. Would you like to take some pictures of yourselves underneath the aurora borealis? Yeah. Should yeah. we? What a happy bunch of aurora hunters. After a magical night, the team settle in at Andy's studio to look at some more beautiful pictures of the aurora borealis. What do you like about this picture? The wee curve in the aurora. Above the house? Yeah. yeah. So, uh, so. That wee green bit there, and it's got that wee twisty bit, and it's like a wee bit like a sweet... A sweet <laughs> wrapper? Yeah. Holly, what do you think of this picture of the aurora? It looks like a circle because it's a green bit and then it's kind of a purpley bit and that makes it like a circle. <laughs> it's so a ready purple colour. It is, it? yeah. Right, Kenzie, what do you find candy for the little time if I didn't find the chase in the aurora? Thank you. Thank you. Yeah. You're very welcome. Thank you. <laughs> Lovely. Fantastic. Should we go outside one more time and look at the night sky to see if we can see the aurora borealis? Yes, yeah. Yeah. Cool. Come on then, let's go. The children have had an amazing adventure, aurora hunting in Lapland. <laughs>